This video will cover the three questions part 2 regarding the topic of recognized limit as derivative. Question 1, we can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0, 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x over h. Use the definition of the derivative f for prime of x equals limit as h approaches 0 f of x plus h minus f of x over h. When we compare these two limits, f of x is 1 over x, so this limit represents f of prime of x, where f of x is 1 over x. We can rewrite as x to the power of minus 1, and f of prime of x equals minus x to the power of minus 2. Then we can rewrite as minus 1 over x squared. Then the final answer is minus 1 over x squared. Question 2. We can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0 to the power of 1 plus h minus 2 to the power of 1 over h and f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, a plus h is 1 plus h, a is 1, then we can rewrite as f prime of 1 equals limit as h approaches 0, f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h. So f of 1 plus h is 2 to the power of 1 plus h and f of 1 is 2 to the power of 1. That means f of x is 2 to the power of x. So this limit represents f of prime of 1 where f of x equals 2 to the power of x. Then f of prime of x equals 2 to the power of x times ln2, then f of prime of 1 equals 2 to the power of 1 times ln2. The final answer is 2 ln2. It's here, 2 ln2. Question 3, we can rewrite as limit as h approaches 0 ln 2 plus h over 2 over h equals use the property of logarithm limit as h approaches 0 ln 2 plus h minus ln 2 over h. f prime of a equals limit as h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a over h. When we compare these two limits, f of a plus h is ln 2 plus h, and f of a is ln 2. Now we know a equals 2, so f of prime of 2 equals limit as h approaches 0, f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h. So f of 2 plus h equals this form ln 2 plus h and f of 2 equals 
ln2, that means f of x equals ln x. So this limit represents f of prime of 2, where f of x equals ln x. Then f of prime of x equals 1 over x. That means f of prime of 2 equals 1 over 2. The final answer is 1 over 2. Question 4. The ratio of the triangle where the respect angle is pi over 6 is 2, 1, and square root of 3. In here, sine pi over 6 is 1 over 2. Then we can rewrite as limit as x approaches pi over 6 sine x minus sine pi over 6 over x minus pi over 6. Another expression in the definition of the derivative is f of prime of a equals limit as x approaches a f of x minus f of a over x minus a. When we compare these two limits, a is pi over 6, so we can rewrite as f of prime of pi over 6 is limit as x approaches pi over 6, f of x minus f of pi over 6 over x minus pi over 6. So this limit represents f of prime of pi over 6, where f of x equals sine of x. Then f of prime of x equals cosine of x. Then f of prime of pi over 6 is cosine pi over 6. Use this. The answer is the square root of 3 over 2. This is the final answer. Question 5. f prime of a equals limit as x approaches a f of x minus f of a over x minus a. When we compare these two limits, a is 1, then f of prime of 1 is limit as x approaches 1, f of x minus f of 1 over x minus 1. That means this limit represents f of prime of 1 where f of x equals x to the power of 17. Then f of prime of x equals 17 x to the power of 16. Then f of prime of 1 equals 17 times 1 to the power of 16, which is 17. Then the final answer is 17. This is the last one. Use the definition of the derivative. f of prime of a equals limit as x approaches a f of x minus f of a over x minus a. When we compare these two limits, a is 9, then f of prime of 9 equals limit as x approaches 9, f of x minus f of 9 over x minus 9. So f of x is 2 square root of x. Then f of 9 equals 2 square root of 9. 
2 times 3, which is 6, then we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 9, 2 square root of x minus 6, which is 2 square root of 9 over x minus 9. So this limit represents f of prime of 9, where f of x is 2 square root of x, then we can rewrite as 2 times x to the power of 1 over 2. So f of prime of x equals 2 times 1 over 2 times x to the power of minus 1 over 2 equals cancelled, then 1 over square root of x. Then f of prime of 9 equals 1 over square root of 9, which is 1 over 3. Then the final answer is 1 over 3. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.